Russian Armed Forces serviceman and popular Z blogger Yegor Guzenko posted a series of videos on Telegram in which he complains about the progress of the so-called SVO. He threatens the Russian authorities with an uprising. He was especially outraged by the situation in the Kursk region where the Ukrainian armed forces took Russian troops into operational encirclement. In the fighting in this area, the Z blogger lost a close friend, captain of the Russian armed forces Artem Matul. Here in the Kursk region in Sudza, the bridges were destroyed all around and ours were building pontoon bridges. Tima died, Artem Vladimirovich Matul, a captain. If we had destroyed all the bridges to the Ukrainians at the very beginning, there would have been no weapon supplies there. Everything ended there long ago, but we do everything in the opposite direction. How wrong! It's a shame to the depths of my soul. We once believed in all this and went to war and honestly fought for all this nonsense. And the Russian authorities were having fun at this time, organizing seminars and negotiations. What is happening now is all betrayal. Traitors are sitting in the Kremlin. Planes are crashing. Explosions are happening. Inconvenient people are being removed, are being put in prison. We must understand that when we return from the front, the war will not be over for us. Traitors have captured the country. There are many of us. We are a whole country. And there is a bunch of you sitting there. You are old. You will die soon, Guzenko said. He also threatens to hand over Russian state Duma deputies to Ukraine in exchange for the release of Russian soldiers from captivity. Every deputy must understand that he can become an exchange fund. We will exchange one deputy, give to the Ukrainians so that he can be hanged publicly. Let them have fun. And we will also watch on TV. I will even turn on the Ukrainian channel for this, said Yegor Guzenko. Recently, the Russian armed forces Shahed Kamikaze drones attacking Ukraine have begun flying into Belarus. This is probably not an accident, but a deliberate provocation by the Kremlin. This opinion was expressed by the popular Telegram channel Siv on Socrates. It is noted that Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko has recently begun to waver on the issue of Ukraine. He makes statements that contradict the general line of the Putin regime. For the Kremlin, such rhetoric is absolutely unacceptable. Belarus, as an instrument of warfare, is also assigned a certain role in the strategy of Muscovy. There, they are very suspicious of the current rhetoric of Minsk, which contains at least three seditious moments. We are talking about a peaceful Belarus, i.e. a refusal to be involved in Russian military adventures. Then Lukashenko admits the presence of adequacy in the actions of the Ukrainian leadership. Finally, Putin's most painful point is touched. He is not eternal either. He must prepare for departure. In the Russian Federation, they immediately made the appropriate conclusions about the double think of the Belarusian leadership and began to urgently take measures to urgently draw the de facto semi-occupied satellite into the orbit of Russian military algorithms. The resource writes, it is emphasized that the Kremlin really does not like the vacillations of the Lukashenko in connection with which they began to put intense pressure on Belarus, including through the Shaheds. The situation with kamikaze drones is already so serious that Belarusian troops have to use the air defense system to intercept them. The author believes that such provocations are an act of military aggression by Russia, which is dangerous to turn a blind eye to. It cannot be ruled out that the Kremlin will raise the stakes to force Lukashenko to fully engage in the war. For now, such incidents are just testing the waters, and in the future we should expect major problems and risks. The channel writes, It believes that Belarus should urgently begin neutralizing Russian agents as well as strengthening the air defense system on its eastern border. The scenario of Russia bombing Belarus looks quite realistic and there is no doubt that the Kremlin will be able to explain to its citizens why this is necessary. In fact, the main and only threat to Belarus today is not Ukraine or NATO, but supposedly friendly Russia.